Hey there YouTube, uh, I got this new package in today from Blade HQ. I'm going to go ahead and open it up with the good old Spyderco Delica. This is just the standard Delica 4 and VG10. And it's another Spyderco, surprise, surprise. I've been buying a lot of Spydercos lately because they had a, uh, a sale in July where they relaxed their map prices and then they had uh, a factory second sale. And now they have a sale in August on things that have been discontinued, uh, which is what this is. This is a discontinued knife. This is the Indella in K390. And it's a little special because it also has a special blade shape. It's not the typical Indella uh, blade shape, blade profile. It is a Warncliffe profile. Um, so the Indella normally looks, the, the shape of the blade at least, normally looks more like this. This one happens to be in Damascus, but it's the standard blade shape. Uh, here's another one. This is an Indella in um, crew wear. Uh, so it's just, well, you know, most of the knives I have are not quite just the standard version of things. But uh, that is the regular blade shape of the Indella. And then in, in this case, we have completely flat edge, completely straight edge, uh, and then continuously dropping spine from way back here. And that gives us a traditional Warncliffe shape. Um, you could call the standard shape kind of a modified Warncliffe. It has some belly, right, which makes it not really a Warncliffe. Uh, and it has mostly, you know, a, a, a clipped profile and then a little drop at the end. Um, this is similar blade shape to what we see in other uh, lockback Spydercos from their Seki City Japan uh, production facility, they have this, um, you know, with the Delica and the Endura and the Indella, uh, we see this profile that has a sort of a long clip, clipped point with a little drop at the very tip, and then uh, some straight edge, but with a bit of belly. So we get some, some straight area through here, and then a gradual, a gradual belly. Um, the Indella is designed to be an in-between knife between the long-standing Delica, it's a little bigger than a Delica, and the Endura. Okay. There's a ZDP 189 Endura. Uh, again, it's a little bit of a special knife, but it's the standard blade shape and size for an Endura. So what you can see with the uh, with the Indella there is that it's in between an Endura and a, De and a Delica. Um, I've referred to this before as the Goldilocks back uh, or Goldilocks back, right? Not too big, not too small, it's just right, like Goldilocks. Um, the Warncliffe that's being discontinued um, is it's a bit of a shame to see uh, see this knife discontinued because um, first of all K390 steel is fantastic um, it is extremely uh, hard 
right? I mean, it's heat treated correctly, and so it's it's extremely hard, uh, and it it uh, holds an edge for a really long time, uh, and it's pretty tough. Um, and the Warncliffe profile is extremely slicey, so this knife uh, ought to be extremely good at things like breaking down boxes. And um, my my box cutter recently has been a Delica. Uh, this one is in CPM S30B, okay, which has the advantage over K390 of being stainless. K390 is not stainless, but K390 has better edge retention and more toughness than S30B. S30B is a pretty good steel. You've heard if you follow this channel, you've you've heard me um, say many times that uh, S30B still to this day is a, uh, a pretty respectable steel. Um, but if I'm breaking down a big pile of boxes, this does dull out a little bit after a while, and the edge geometry is so slicey that it still cuts. But at some point it starts pushing cardboard and you get cardboard being sort of like pushed into the channel that you're cutting as opposed to being sliced through. Um, and uh, the K390 ought to stay sharp longer. Um, it's not quite as thin a blade stock as the Delica. The hair on that, sorry about that. Um, but uh, it's pretty thin, and it's a full flat grind. So this should be um, an outstanding knife for breaking down boxes and stuff like that. Um, you know, the in, in Della size is in between, as I said, uh, what do we have here? Now this is another Indela. The Indela, the size of the Indela is in between the Endura and the Delica, but that's also what we say about the Stretch too. It's in between the size of the Endura and the Delica. Uh, the Stretch Two has a little bit different blade profile to it. It doesn't have that little subtle drop at the end. Um, it has pretty much a straight clip spine. Um, and it has a little bit more belly, especially at the tip, uh, than either the Endura or the Delica or the Indela. So if we're just comparing Uh, a Stretch 2 and an Indela Warncliffe. Um, they're almost sort of like inversions of each other, right? Like this is almost upside down version of that. And this is also K390. Um, so I'm a little sorry to see these go out of Spyderco's regular production catalog. Um, I have a few knives in K390. They range in size all the way from, you know, like the Man Bug and uh, Ladybug up through the Endura. Uh, I think that's probably the biggest K390 knife available right now. And it's a good workhorse steel. I don't think Spyderco is quite getting rid of everything in K390, but they, a, a lot of the stuff that was discontinued uh, in this most recent announcement in August of 23 included uh, several of the K390 models and several of the Warncliffe models. And in addition to the uh, K390 Warncliffs, they also announced that they're discontinuing the S30V Warncliffe. So if you want a Warncliffe, better get one quick. I don't know, maybe they'll come out with another batch 
in a different blade steel or something. Uh, you know, you never know with Spyderco, they, they, they always mix things up, but um, I hope so because Warncliffe is a really useful blade profile. Uh, it's also useful for wood carving. Um, it's good to have both, um, you know, a blade with belly and a flat edge blade for, for carving tasks, depending on, you know, sort of what uh, kind of profile you're shaping. Uh, that flat edge can be, can be really helpful. A uh, couple of size comparisons. So we already did the Endura and the Delica next to this thing. Um, let's see it next to a Para 3 and a Paramilitary 2. Okay, similar. It's, you know, a little closer in size to the Paramilitary 2. Um, let's compare it to some Benchmade knives, if you're more familiar with those. Um, here it is next to a bug out. It's about the same uh, little, it's a, the bug out's a little bit smaller overall, but uh, similar blade length. And here it is next to a uh, Griptilian. Okay, sorry about the shine on that. I mirror polished the bevel on this thing. Um, and let's do one more size comparison. Here it is next to the Rat Model 1 and the Rat 2. And again, it's sort of in between, right? A little closer to the Rat 1, but also a little, a little smaller overall than the Rat 1. And again, it's kind of an inversion of the blade shape, right? This thing has almost a straight spine. Whereas this has a straight edge. Okay, um, well, it's not a review, just an unboxing and some size comparisons and a heads up that uh, these excellent Warncliffe knives and a lot of the K390 knives have been discontinued as of August 2023. Um, so they're still in stock in some places, but uh, once that stock is gone, it's gone. So get one if you want one. All right, please like and follow my channel. You'll see lots and lots of knives.